The War of 1812, which ironically lasted almost three years, was significant in establishing the grit and tenacity of the United States. And as the war drew to an end, one man's poetic account of an epic battle became a song that would be remembered forever. The British Army had recently won a stunning victory at the Battle of Bladensburg, and then set the U.S. Capitol ablaze. Next, they set their sights on Fort McHenry, the star-shaped stronghold overlooking Baltimore Harbor. On September 12, 1814, 4,000 British troops landed at North Point, determined to capture the port city and destroy American resolve. The trouble was, Fort McHenry had been built to withstand an onslaught from land and sea. Under the command of Major George Armistead, a thousand U.S. troops were gathered inside, their defenses aided by a line of sunken American merchant ships that blocked the entrance to the harbor. An initial ground assault ended in small gains for the British. But the Americans held their own. On September 13th, the British naval bombardment began. An assault of bombs and rockets that lasted for 27 hours. Although two buildings in the fort were damaged and a few casualties were inflicted, U.S. troops fought back with long-range cannons that kept the British at bay. On the morning of September 14th, Fort McHenry still stood. In celebration, the U.S. replaced the battered storm flag that had endured the barrage with the large garrison flag that was raised every morning, signaling that they had not been defeated. The Americans had forced the British to withdraw. Watching it all from a British ship in the harbor, U.S. lawyer Francis Scott Key had been negotiating the release of a prisoner when the siege broke out. He was so moved by the event, he wrote a poem celebrating the flag as a symbol of America's resilience and triumph. In 1931, the Star-Spangled Banner officially became the national anthem. In what other ways has the War of 1812 left an impact on U.S. society? <laughs>